Well, hello again, welcome back. Uh, yep, that is what we're going to do today. And from start to finish, and all the pieces, all the steps, and everything in between, that's a piece of acrylic. And it was done with uh, a simple layer of dish soap, and then it's laid down on a cardboard backing, and you actually etch the back side of the glass. I should have reversed it, mirrored the image, flipped it side to side, so that way it printed backwards, because they actually look better with the frosting, the etching in the front. It glows better. That one there, it's on the back side. I'm going to fix that on this one. Um, your tools, what you're going to need. Let me back you out here. I found this. That's a 22 by 28 sheet. I guess we could turn some lights back on in here. Got it at Wally World. If you can get it there, you can get it anywhere. Uh, it was 99 cents a sheet. A big sheet, 99 cents. You can't, um, you can't beat that. Now, what I just noticed too was, if you watch the other video, watch your papers. This has got a white backer in it. So, if you wanted to use this to make a card or something, you could actually cut through that black and have white letters shown, and it would be perfect. It's gorgeous. Look at check the other video out. I have some pieces. Uh, as a matter of fact, right here. This was that card stock I was using before. Now, oh, where'd it go? Get you back out here in the bed. And it didn't work as a backer, but that's just burning. There's nothing added, nothing done. That's just burning right through this black. If you look at the side of the paper, it's got white in it. That means it's got a white backer inside of it. Just burn through the black. Man, if you can find colored paper and stuff with Valentine's coming, shoot. Somebody uh, I've already cut a piece to size, so we don't need this. Now, what I have done, um, that's our soap. I went ahead and cut a and the laser got moved. No, it ain't right in the middle. Um, I cut a five inch square. Laser should be where it was, but it don't look like it is anymore, so we're gonna have to check it. Uh, for center and just putting your block, I'm only doing one, so I just cut a five inch square. We're gonna double check. But here's our, so, that little bit of water, I put maybe three or four drops. And that's about it, because all you're going to do is get a paper towel wet and just put a light coating on the back of, on one side of the glass. That's the easy part. Um, if you want to practice, <laughs> I used old CD cases. It'll be, you'll have to go faster on these because it's a whole lot thinner than the, these acrylic sheets are. Uh, another warning, don't use any chemicals on acrylics. That was uh, goof off. Usually I clean my glass with goof off. I sprayed it on there and that's what it did. I wouldn't use anything harder than uh, rubbing alcohol or Windex. I don't need that anymore. 
Uh, let's go ahead. Well, I'm telling you the numbers and stuff. I'm going to try peeling this paper off. This stuff comes with a clear coating on both sides. And you want to watch getting it off because, yes, you will, if you use a knife or something, you will gouge. So I'm going to do mine, start them down here, but I'm going to get them, I'm going to do them while I'm over here telling you the numbers. What I'm going to be doing, uh, as a matter of, this is a D1 laser with a 10, the 10 watt head. Uh, you don't need a 10 because I'm only running at 25% for power. A 5 would do this just fine. I'm running 80 for speed. Let me switch back over to metric here. 80, 80 millimeters per second on the speed. I'm running the overscan at 2.0. The liner rule is the point one. Um, yeah, I'm using Atkinson for the image mode. Uh, you can choose something, whatever you like best. Just cancel a lot of that. Everything else is standard from the machine. I haven't gone in and done any custom settings. about this is if you're careful you don't have to clean it because it's perfectly clean well I got the other side started so before I peel it I'm gonna go ahead Much soap on there at all. And that's too thick because it's, it's bubbling. Got another paper towel. Some of it off of there. That's all we're doing is looking for a thin, even coat. That's it. Now I'll go ahead and take the other side off. See if it's This is the side I put the oil on, or the soap. So I'm going to set it down against my paper. It was still a little wet, but it'll be alright. I had better go ahead and put my box back up here. Turn all noisy back on. Huh? Uh, oh, I don't think it'll frame right, but let's try it out. I'll be done. It was still right where it needed to be. It is 25% power, 80 millimeters on the speed, and the other settings I gave you already. There you go. And that's all there is to it. Got the mirror of my image again. Yeah. 
but go ahead and order some more. <laughs> you can see the shine. Uh, you can. It's pretty heavy for sure. Let me bring it back. Leave it alone. That's it. I'm going to leave laser though because I need to make another one. Just slide that out. The paper just come right out so there's nothing stuck to it. But, woo! Now, if you watch my other videos, I've been working with the latex dip. Well, since I had the bucket here in the last one, I just threw it in there. Let it sit for a minute or two. Like I said, don't try other than window cleaner or alcohol and do not use paper towels on acrylic. No, you will scratch it with paper towels. Soft cloths, any kind of cloths. Matter of fact, I probably ought to find one. I got one right there. Cheers to cut a rag. I wonder why I'm having problems. Nasty old one. Don't need Scotch Bright, I'm not gonna need you. you don't want to go in here with Scotch Bright. It just washes right up.
still trying to drive. Hard to see unless you got a bite on them. the actual etching there. I'll have to put it in over here and see how it goes. Didn't take long at all. I should have timed it. I'm gonna post the materials, the paper, the numbers on the paper. I found it on their website, uh, Dollar Eight a sheet. Uh, that's all there is to it. I uh, hope you liked it, and I like to see some of the stuff you come up with. Have a good night. Thank you.